The Kazan city government opens a COVID-19 vaccination site after working hours. Meanwhile, Mayor Belmont expects a better online registration system for the vaccination program by Friday. Ashok Kadapan Jr. details why live. Yes, Asher. Early in Quezon City, Mayor Joy Belmonte recognizes the call of several workers in the city aiming to get vaccinated against COVID-19 but cannot take off work or don't have time to visit a vaccination site during office hours. With this, the local government unit launches tonight the QC Bakuna Nights, which runs from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. or after the normal working hours. This is scheduled to continue until Saturday, exclusively serving the essential workers included in the A4 priority group in the COVID-19 vaccination program of the national government. It targets to vaccinate 2,000 economic frontliners each night. According to Quezon City Task Force Vax to Normal co-chair Joseph Wico, they plan to continue this activity next week with an extended hour until 11 p.m. Ito yung mga, for example, uh, pag umalis sila, baka mabawasan sila ng sweldo dahil daily wage earners sila. So with this approach, uh, ginawa ni Mayor Joy Belmonte na mag-isip ng paraan para at least yung mga taong uh, pwedeng pumunta sa vaccine site after office hours, eh meron silang pupuntahan. The workers, on the other hand, expressed their appreciation to the efforts of the Quezon City government in the fight against the pandemic. Pag umaga kasi may klase kami, hanggang alas dos, tapos yung bakuna, ah, ngayon naman maganda yung panahon, eh, medyo malamig konti. Uh, kaya kami, <laughs> eh okay na okay po yung ginawa nilang oras, sakto yung sakto po. Yun ang na-appreciate ko talaga yung airport ng Quezon City Hall talaga. Gumawa sila ng para para ma-vaccine ang lahat. Yun ang nooka. Kasi hanggang anong oras? Hangga, I think hanggang 9 p.m. 9 p.m. sila, hindi ba? O hindi ba nakakatuwang malaman na talagang they do their airport their best para ma-vaccine ang mga, kata, mga tao, di ba? Meanwhile, the Quezon City government said it is seriously considering terminating its contract with Zuelig Pharma Corporation, the firm behind Easy Consult. Mayor Belmonte said she has issued an ultimatum to Zuelig Pharma Corporation to upgrade its system and provide all the deliverables by Friday, June 18. The local chief executive made the pronouncement after residents reported problems in accessing Easy Consult services since March 27. In addition to terminating its deal with Zuelig, the Quezon City government is also mulling suing the company for damages if it fails to meet its contractual obligations to the local government by Friday. Arlene Mayor Joy Belmonte, however, explains that Easy Consult also gave their commitment in getting their system fixed by Friday, and so they expect that the online registration will be better by then. Arlene? All right, thank you so much. Asher Kadapan Jr. reporting live.